Hi everyone, this is Virendra from iDeserve. Today I'm going to talk about minimum edit distance problem. So the problem statement is given two strings S1 and S2. We need to find out the minimum edit distance to transform S1 to S2. So the allowed edit operations are insertion, deletion and substitution. We need to use the minimum of those and transform S1 to S2. For example, if you have a string kitten and you want to convert it to sitting, how many operations would you require? The first thing you would have to do is replace k with s which is called substitution and then replace e with i okay further we insert g at the end finally we get the string sitting from kitten right the number of operations we used here is three so this is what we have to find out minimum number of operations required to convert from s1 to s2 and that is also called minimum edit distance the approach that we use to achieve this is dynamic programming okay so let's look at the solution in this solution we have a table where we represent the row columns using the letters of the first string and rows using the letters of the second string okay and this particular cells these cells empty cells here represent empty strings okay so assuming we are trying to convert kitten into an empty string how many operations would we require if we convert empty string into empty string, zero operations are required, right? To convert k into empty string, one operation which is insert. ki into an empty string, we will require two operations, right? Insert k and insert i. What about kit? Three operations are required, right? kitt, four operations and so on, okay? Similarly, for converting an empty string into sitting, we would require these many operations, right? Now let's try to fill up the whole table. Okay, let's start with this row. Okay, so we want to convert k to s. How do we do it? We substitute s with k. Okay, number of operations required for that is 1. So the question is how do we get 1? So we could look at the left, look at the top and look at the diagonally above element and we take the minimum of all these three and add 1 to it. So how do we get this Num so how do we get this value? So what we do is we look at all three elements here above diagonally, diagonally above and to the left. We take minimum of that and then add one to it. Okay, that's how we got the numerical one here. Let's go forward and see how can we convert ki into s. Number of operations required for converting ki into s is two. How? By substituting, substituting s with k and then inserting i so number of operations is 2 how did we get 2 here we take the minimum of all these three three numbers here to the left diagonally above and the the number above and we add one to it okay so we get the number of operations required for converting k to s similarly we go forward KIT can be converted to S using three operations. Okay, we take the minimum and add one to it. Okay, we keep doing this till the end and we get the number of operations required to convert kitten to S, which is six. Okay, so let's move ahead and try to convert K to SI. How do you do it? You will substitute S with K, right, and delete I, right? So there is one substitution and one deletion. So number of operations is two, but how did you get it? You took the minimum of all these three and added one to it. Okay. Going forward, if you want to convert ki to si, how many operations you would require? You would require one substitution, substitute s with k. And then since the last characters match, you don't require any other operation, right? So if the last characters match, you don't require any operations correct so in that case you just forward the diagonally above number you don't have to add one to it okay you don't take the minimum if the last characters match okay so you just forward the diagonally above number so that means since the last characters match the number of operations required will be equal to the number of operations for the string which does not have the last characters okay so in this case if you trim out i and trim out i here so a number of operations required to convert k to s is here right so we forward the diagonal value here okay that is in the case where the last characters match if they do not match we take the minimum 
okay so let's go ahead if you want to convert kit to si since the t and i do not match what we have to do is we take the minimum of these three and add one to it okay we added one to it and we got number of operations too right let's go ahead to let's go ahead and try to convert kitt to si number of operations will be three the same way taking the minimum similarly till the end okay let's go ahead and try to convert k to sit okay we took the minimum and added one to it okay ki to sit what happens is i does not match t we take the minimum and add one to it kit to sit t matches t right so we just forward the diagonal value c t is equal to t right so we uh, if it if you trim out t and t the remaining string is ki and si right number of operations for ki and si is 1 okay if you go forward and trim out i and i number of operations to convert k to s is 1 okay that gets forwarded till here okay so whenever there is a match in the characters you just forward the diagonal value okay otherwise take the minimum going forward when converting ki tt to sit number of operations required is 2 you take the minimum and add 1 okay similarly till the end okay let's move ahead to convert k to sitt you have how many operations 4 you take them since this character doesn't match the last character you have to take the minimum okay and add 1 to it similarly for ki to sitt what happens is you take the minimum and add 1 similarly for kit similarly till the end okay let's go ahead and do it for sitti k does not match i so we take the minimum and add one so similarly for ki ki tt ki t and till the end okay so let's look at the last character okay k doesn't match g i think i skipped n here but it should be fine so here i doesn't match g so we take the minimum add one to it take the minimum add one to it similarly for kitt okay and similarly for kitt e similarly for n g kitten okay n and g do not match minimum is 2 we add 1 to it okay so whenever there is a mismatch take the minimum of all three numbers and add 1 to it so this is the answer okay let's look at the code so here is the code where we declare a dynamic programming matrix we have added 1 to the lens of string 1 and string 2 because we are considering the empty string case as well right so if any one of them is an empty string the number of operations required will be equal to the number of insertions that we do for the other string okay so we loop over the table okay so here if if s1 is empty we insert all the characters from s2 right this is this is where we do it and if s2 is empty we insert all the characters from s1 this is the first case that i explained right if the characters match there are no operations required right so we just forward the value diagonally above to the current cell okay so this table i j equal to this table i minus 1 j minus 1 okay if the characters do not match they are different we find the minimum of previous operations okay which is which are available at the left diagonally above and the above above the current cell okay i j minus 1 i minus 1 j i minus 1 j minus 1 we take the minimum of all that and add 1 to it we go through the whole process here and at the end we get the value at the bottom right corner of the table and we return it that's all that's all about the minimum added distance problem so the time complexity of this problem is length of the first string into length of the second string okay so that's the size of the table thank you so much for checking our videos and giving us comments and feedback please go check out our website at www.idsof.co.in it has many more features it has visualization and explanation of all the codes that we are explaining here in a written format okay thank you 